morning all, TC Tech's back out again on the field behind me, which is a new field on my larger permission. Um, history of the area seems to suggest that there was a house on here until about the 1960s, and that house was uh, there on the maps back in the 1880s, so we're going to head to where the ruins of that would have been, uh, out with the Atrex and the legend today, weather permitting, I'm going to start with the Atrex. Also testing the new pinpointer from Dr. Otec, the MT6 Pro. First time in the field with that rather than air test at home. Uh, I'm also on a new camera which is the DJI Osmo Action 3. So lots of things to play with today. But let's crack on for now and find out and see what we uh, can dig up today. And first find is actually surface find. Uh, what looks like part of a horseshoe. Also, have quite an issue with uh, a lot of, as you can see, wind turbines. I uh, think quite a lot of interference. May at some point need to switch to single frequency or at least swap the settings and sensitivity around a little bit. And as I said, we're out today with the new Doctor. Otec MT6 Pro Pinpointer as well. I haven't to redub the audio on this because of the wind noise with the new camera. I do have a microphone uh, coming for the new camera, uh, but at the minute um, it's uh, whatever's in the field. It's quite noisy today. So, um, what I was saying when I was messing about with the pinpointer was that because of the EMI that was uh, evident and uh, in the field from the overhead and the wind turbines um, the actual uh, pinpointer was running uh, a little bit unstable uh, and you could see it on the screen it was uh, a falsing a little bit uh, which is a pretty good test of the uh, noise cancel function on the uh, pinpointer so had the opportunity to use it uh, and uh, the uh, noise cancel worked perfectly. Got rid of the AMI and stable pinpointer. Uh, and here we are pulling out a very small um, uh, ring off uh, a bird's leg, um, which uh, I might try and see if I can identify later. I think you can identify them. I need to find out where and how you do that though. There you go. Ring from a bird's leg. And next signal is just down here, um, sort of early hundreds, but uh, a little bit scratchy, a little bit of movement, not the cleanest of uh, signals, but we will give it a whirl and see what it is, never know. And that scratchy signal turned out to be a wing nut uh, for the Disney fans amongst the viewership then looks a little bit like a Mickey Mouse ears and head. A hidden Mickey hiding in the mud of the field. And next up, a uh, surface find, or more or less, it's all, all jammed into the dirt on the top here. Sort of, uh, I think it's a pewter button, or actually the shank's detached, so I think it's half of a pewter button, the uh, top half, first button of the day. And I wouldn't be surprised if the old house site that was here had either stabling or um, a paddock attached because I keep finding uh, horseshoes. Here's another one and a half horseshoes to go with the, uh, I think there was a couple already found. So I find a lot of evidence of horses and horseshoes uh, on this bit of the land and uh, coincides with where the house was. So the next signal is down this hall it was in the about 99, 101, sort of that range here but I thought I'd try and give you see if, that, see if I can pick up on see there um, I don't think it pulses normally so the picture is picking it up pulsing doesn't I think that's the uh, frame rate of the camera and the uh, sort of frame rate of the LED. But anyway, we're right here with it. So let's see what it is. And the answer 
answer would appear to be a nail. Over here, I think I can see it on the edge here. Looks like a button or a coin. There's one in there for a coin. If it is, and it is, looks like it. No, definitely a pre decimal penny. Looks like Edward the Seventh. Think so. Quick clean of the old trousers. Yeah, pretty much definitely. Edward the Seventh pre decimal penny for the first coin of the day. And heading back towards the car when um, this popped out, it's a piece of chain. Looks like coppery type of chain. Don't think. It's not fine enough or thin enough for that. There you go, possibly the last signal for the air tracks this morning because I'm about to go get some food and then swap detectors about 100 feet from the car. And now out with the legend for the afternoon and very similar to the air tracks this morning uh, with the EMI. Um, interfering with the stable running of the machine so uh, running multi-frequency I've only managed to get to stable uh, operation if I pull it down to 15 on the sensitivity which is probably a little bit more depth than I'm sort of willing to give but what can you do when you've got power lines and um, turbines all over the place I may well just drop it into signal frequency at some point as well. And first find for the legend this afternoon is a part of what looks like a relatively decorative buckle. Relatively large one as well. Um, not sure what that was for. If it was uh, for bridal tack or something like that. I think it probably was. And next up is a clog clasp or rather part of a clog clasp always nice to see those that moved about 10 feet got an identical signal dug down about three inches and we have another piece of a clog clasp maybe even part of the same one who knows and another horseshoe just below the surface just kicked out my boot and yet another horseshoe. I definitely think there was some stabling, maybe even where they shoot the horses uh, as well. Uh, so many horseshoes coming up around the house site. Uh, next signal is down here, it was in the mid 20s. Nothing on the ferris. And I don't know if it's another surface find because you can see here something green and button or coin shapes and it is definitely one of those things it's got the uh the thinness of a hammered but it seems hugely unlikely here i say that it definitely has got a thinness of one but oh, on colour unless it cleans up i say unlikely because of the age of the property and the fact that these fields would have been in inverted commas levels in the past there's a shield design on that I'm not sure if it's picking it up so you know some I think that is a bizarrely the last thing I kind of expected today could well be a hammered ah now got a hole in the top of it see there I wonder if this has been a hammer that's been used a piece of jewellery or a necklace or something I'll try and clean that up at home but yeah I think weirdly uh, I just found a surface hammered with the legend in a field where I didn't really think I'd find a hammered it's not bad for the end of the uh, hunt is it I'm on my way back to the car so if this is the last bind what a great last find